Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some deep cleaning on my Keurig, which is just a fancy name for a coffee maker. Of course, I am throwing a little cleaning in this video to give you some cleaning motivation as well. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. I wanted to start this video by showing you just how gross my Keurig is before I jump into sharing how I clean my Keurig coffee maker. I went ahead and set out some things I'm going to use to deep clean my machine. I am using a toothbrush. This one is brand new, but if you have a cleaning one, that will work too. Just make sure that it is sanitized. You need a cleaning cloth. E-cloths work great. Multi-surface cleaner, Q-tips, about 16 ounces of white vinegar, I poured mine into a glass for easy measuring, a couple of coffee cups, and some Dawn dishwashing liquid, but you can use any brand. I'm going ahead and taking off all the removable parts. Just be careful, there are several needles on this machine. I'm going ahead and hand washing all of these parts within warm soapy water. However, all of these parts are dishwasher safe and can be washed in the dishwasher. Do you prefer to use the dishwasher for things like this or do you like to hand wash all of the parts? Before I started filming this cleaning video today for my cleaning channel, I did a really good scrub on my sink. I like to make sure I am putting my clean parts in a clean sink. I'm going ahead and drying all of the parts of my Keurig with a clean towel before I put them to the side and do a massive clean on my coffee maker.
as you can see, a Keurig can get pretty nasty, so it is important to descale your coffee maker along with cleaning your Keurig needle to keep it from getting clogged. If your needle gets clogged, all you need to do is gently remove the needle part, wash it in warm soapy water, and check it for any coffee grounds. I use a Q-tip in and around the needle along with small amounts of vinegar to sanitize it as well. I do this with all the hard to reach cracks and crevices. This part right here has the needle on the other side and as you can see I'm using a Q-tip in and around the needle and on the back side of this particular part to make sure it is nice and clean and sanitized with a little bit of vinegar. And this part here also has a needle and I am doing the same thing. And as you can see, even though I did hand wash it, it still is pretty disgusting. So I'm using a Q-tip and vinegar on it as well. I use my multi-purpose cleaner on the outside of my Keurig, making sure that while I clean my coffee maker, I don't get any on the inside of my machine. If you do, just wipe it really well with a towel with plain warm water on it to get all of the cleaner off. I only use white vinegar on the inside of my machine since it is completely safe, it's swallowed, but it's also a great natural cleaner. Once I have cleaned the outside of my machine, I use my toothbrush to get all of the coffee grounds on the inside of the machine out. Then I clean it with white vinegar. Vinegar is perfect to discal any spots on the inside or outside of your Keurig. Now that everything is nice and clean, it's time to reassemble everything. I am adding the 16 ounces of vinegar to the container that you usually add water to. I am going to run it through the Keurig the same way that I would make coffee, only I am not going to add a coffee pod or coffee grounds or water, only the vinegar. Repeat this until all the vinegar is gone from the container. The vinegar is going to descale your Keurig from the inside cleaning it.
invincible. Carefully pour the hot vinegar out in the sink, rinse the container very well with water, and then fill it to the top with fresh water. You can hand wash it again if you like before refilling it with water. Run it again the same way you did the vinegar with no coffee, this time using water only. Repeat until the water is completely gone. Now that the coffee machine is nice and extreme cleaned, I like to do a quick clean on the kitchen and get everything cleaned and put away. I also like to wipe down the countertops. I get lost sometimes and I can't seem to find a light Between the walls I built for myself right in my mind and then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before and now, when I got you, it's all gonna be alright Thinking about all the things we did tonight Now you are ready for a cup of coffee. I hope you enjoyed this cleaning motivation video and were able to learn how to clean a Keurig. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. This video right here has a ton of clean with me motivation to get you up and cleaning. So make sure you check it out next and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.